What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Over Tricks Woodworking. My name is Peter and today we are doing the sheet of plywood coffee table challenge. But to make it a little bit harder, we don't actually have a full sheet of plywood. We've got a piece that is uh, probably a little more than half, well quite a bit more than half. But it's not a full piece of plywood because we don't need that much. A few videos back we made a cool coffee table out of a half inch sheet of plywood as well as some other stuff um, in that video. I believe we made that flag as well. Um, and we got a lot of comments about that table, how cool it was, and how you guys wanted to see how it was built. So today, we are going to do that. All right guys, so we've got all these pieces of wood cut up. So this is gonna be our top. It's 20 inches wide by 40 inches long. That's gonna be our top. And now for our legs, we're gonna cut two pieces that are 19 and 3 fourths inches long by six inches wide. So you're only cutting two of these because we're gonna make these diagonal legs where we're gonna be cutting these in half. We'll show you how to do that in a little bit. We're gonna cut two pieces that are two and 3 fourths inches wide and this is 68 inches long because that's how long our piece of plywood was. But we don't need them to be this long. These are gonna be for the supports. Um, so we're definitely gonna have some extras of these. Um, and then we've got some pieces over here that are just extras. Um, it was quite a bit of extra, more than I thought. So uh, that's always nice, we can use that for something else. But now we're gonna take our piece that we're gonna have on the top and we're gonna put a nice chamfer, chafer, put, we're gonna put the thing on it, you'll see. So now that we've got everything cut out, we're gonna take our top, again, it's about 20 by 40 inches. Um, and we're just gonna go around all the edges, give it a nice chamfer, 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 whatever it's called. You guys know I don't know what it's called. Um, we're gonna start small, take about quarter inch off, and then we're gonna see how that looks. If we wanna do a little bit more, then we'll uh, put this guard down a little bit, maybe get to a half inch or something like that. But uh, it's kinda just eyeing it, see what we like. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna cut our legs the way we want them. So. I had this jig uh, from that video to make the legs diagonal. Basically, what you do for this jig, it's super simple. You need a piece about this size. It has to be six inches wide. Um, this can really only work for legs that are six inches wide that you're cutting in half. So all you're gonna do to make a jig like this is you're gonna measure four inches on one side like this, and then four inches on the opposite side like this. And then what you're gonna do is connect these two dots with a straight edge. And you're just gonna go ahead and connect those dots. So that is the two different legs that you're gonna have. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a scrap piece of two by six that you have, and you're just gonna line up this line on the edge here, just kind of eyeballing it. Obviously for mine, it'll slide right in place because I've got these three pieces blocking it. But once you have gone ahead and you've eyed that, you're just gonna stick this down. You can even uh, put some double-sided tape down and then just screw in your three blocks there so then when you run the, through the table saw every time, you can just put it in the jig just like that and go. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to make this. Um, if you really want another video about this, comment down below, maybe we'll do something like that. Um, but we're gonna take this over to the table saw now and we're gonna show you how this jig actually works and we're gonna get these uh, four legs cut out like that. So you're just going to Place your jig right up against the saw blade there. You don't want it to pinch. You want it to be able to uh, flow freely. You're just gonna set that in place there. Then go ahead and raise your table saw blade all the way up as high as it can go. Now, when we cut it, we're just gonna put our piece up against there and we're gonna slowly just feed it all the way through there and then you'll have your two legs cut with just one cut. Dangerous. All right, so now that we've got all four of our pieces cut here, um, if you were just to put it down, it would be straight like this but we want it to have a nice little lean because it looks nicer. So we need to cut this piece off a little bit here and here, and I'll show you how to do that on our miter saw. So we're just gonna go ahead and set our miter saw to cut at a 10 degree angle. So it's at 10 degrees right now, and that's just gonna take a tiny bit off here and a tiny bit off here. So obviously when you're doing this, 
you're gonna want to keep this flat edge against the back cut here and then we're gonna move over here and we're gonna cut here so when you're positioning this piece basically all you want to do is have the piece that will have the point at the end up against this side of your rip fence there that'll ensure that the blade actually gets all the way through and it doesn't leave a little bit of flat at the edge there so we're just going to do that with all of them um, really eyeing it try to get it as perfect as you can for all of them and then you're just going to go ahead and slice that off So now we've cut our support pieces off. These were those two longer pieces that were th two and three fourths inches wide. So we've got two of them cut here. Uh, we put 45 degree angles on both ends. So from tip to tip, we're looking at 17 and a half inches long. Again, 2.75 inches wide. Got two of those. Now over here, the longer support pieces. Again, 45 degree angles on both ends. And from tip to tip, we've got 35 inches long. So basically, when we're putting this table together, we're just gonna put everything like a box on the underside of the table. Um, as you can see, there's no chamfer on this side. So just lay the front down on your table and we're gonna just do a dry run here and then each of these legs are gonna go right in here and just get pinched in between there on all of those corners. Um, so how we're gonna do that is with glue, a nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun, that's okay. It's gonna be a little more difficult, um, but should be fine. Um, so let's get into that step. So what I did first is I found the middle of this piece, which is two inches, and I just drew a line straight up with my uh, right angle. Just drew that line straight up there. And what this is gonna do is tell you where the end should be of your piece. So this piece right here is going to be lined up right here so the pointy piece is going to be further over here so when you're gluing these together this end right on that line there and then move up like that and that will be your joint where that is going to sit and you're going to do that for all of them Okay, so now that it's all clamped up, uh, we're gonna let it dry for a while. Um, in that first clip there, you saw me and John holding those pieces together. I recommend having someone there helping you hold it for the part that I had John there with me. And you don't need a nail gun. You can use uh, screws if you just pre-drill that hole and then screw a hole in there while someone's holding that leg in place. That'll work too. All right guys, here it is. I sanded it and I painted it white. Probably gonna go over another coat of white a little bit later, but this is it, the final product. Um, I love the way it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell this on uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, something like that. Probably put it up for like 75 bucks, something like that. Um, I think we could get, because it's nice and painted. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below any other videos you'd like us to make, and we'll see you in the next one.